time. Okay, so I'm not into skiing or snowboarding. Uh, but I do know that it can be dangerous at times. The slopes are kind of like a road without lanes or signals. And right now, a snowboard instructor at Park City Mountain Resort is recovering after he says someone slammed into him and then kept going, skiing off, leaving him lying in the snow. Martin Drayton guesses the skier was probably going as fast as a car, about 30 miles per hour. He was flipped up in the air, and when he landed, he knew that something was seriously wrong. Doctors say that Martin's spine was bent back until several of his vertebrae fractured. All of a sudden, I was being flipped through the air, and eventually I came to a halt, and when I did, the scariest thing was I couldn't actually breathe. I've had so many people write me and say that they've had similar incidents happen where people have just hit them and moved on. It's even happened to my daughter. I don't know what the answer is, but something needs to happen. That's awful. That is awful. And so you heard there that Martin says nothing will change unless it becomes common practice to just simply stop after hitting someone on the mountain. He did tell us that he does feel lucky because others have been permanently disabled in incidents like this. He says that he is doubtful that the person who hit him will be found or even come forward. Uh, so at this point, you know, it's just I wonder if that person sad. skating down wasn't in control. Maybe they couldn't stop or, yeah. Not it's, even it's, yell it's, back to say sorry? I know. Crazy. Has that happened to you? Uh, I've had some close calls out there. I mean, But not a collision. Um, with my friend one time. Okay, but um, it's someone you know. Someone I okay. someone I knew, but you got you got to be extra careful. And mm -hmm. if you run into someone, please, you know, stop and check in on them.